So a couple of years ago now, I did a video on what tray copier I was using at the time back then. And I always seem to get asked the question of, am I using the same one now? So it has since then changed. So I wanna talk about that in today's video and show you how I use this tray copier to pass a My Forex Funds Challenge as of recently. And when I talk about recently, I mean as of yesterday. So let's dig into the platform itself and I'll talk about what's included. So previously, as a lot of you will already know, I was using a trade copier called Social Trader Tools. However, since then, I have now changed. So I've changed to an incredible software and it's 10 times better in my opinion, and it's called Traders Connect. So it's relatively new. It's a cloud-based modern software and it has plans to release iOS and Android apps very shortly in the near future. Once we actually get onto the dashboard, there is actually a thing in the bottom left hand corner called feature request. If you click on that, what it allows you to do is actually make suggestions of your own. So there's already quite a few suggestions in terms of how to improve it so far. Remember I said it's relatively new, but it's actually so much better than what's out there on the market currently. We have equity protection. We have, I love this app notifications. So you can get notified when you take a trade on something like Discord, Telegram, email inside the app itself. Um, Slack. So if we just take a look at what's here, you can see they're already working on it. There's emails, Slack, WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord, Webnook. There's so many available notifications coming, which is absolutely incredible to see. But once again, you can make your own suggestions. So if you had your own suggestion you wanted to make, you just simply click on this, you know, make the suggestion. And then how it works is that these are upvotes. So if you agree with one of these, all you would simply do is just add your own vote to it. And the more votes it gets, the more attention it's gonna to get to obviously Traders Connect. So that's the way it works. In terms of the back end of the dashboard, let me show you around. And then I'm gonna talk you through how to actually add an account and how to set up a trade copier. And then I'm gonna show you how fast the execution is compared to other trade copiers. So that's gonna be fun. Oh. So I took a challenge recently. So I've just passed it. So the target was 8%. I just literally passed it yesterday, which is which is great to see. So if we just take a look at the back end of this account, I want to show you the analytics and how you know visible it is for people to actually monitor. So obviously starting balance was 50, must have had the first win on the board pretty early on. And then we go into you know a couple losing trades here. I think it was three. And then following them, we then had those winning trades, and then slowly but surely then made the profit target ahead of time. But you can see the stats, like you can see 20 trades taken, you get all the backend analytics of, of it, you get all the tracks of open and closed positions, and you get everything you need. They're currently still adding features to this in time. So once again, any suggestions you have, they're open to actually adding in, you know, that's phenomenal to see. So how you actually add an account is you go to an account, right, I'm just gonna delete this so that I can re-add it again. So let's just delete this. So what you would do is you'll go to add account. You'd add the name such as account two, select server type MT4, select broker. So this was an IC markets server account. And then we go to IC markets, SC demo one. And then all we do is we copy the account ID and account password in. We confirm the account. It then actually is now here. And then all we do to then set up the trade copier is we go down to copy trading, right? And you see, I've not got any trade copiers right now running, but if we want to add a trade copy, we go to add copier, right? We want to copy from account and I want to do account number one to account number two. Risk type, so you have fixed lot, lot multiplier and balance multiplier. I will always use the balance multiplier. Basically the way it works is that like it says here, the risk setting is 100%, so one-to-one -one ratio. So if you have a 10 grand account and you're risking 1%, it's then gonna actually have that 1% running on a 100 grand account or 200K account. So it's gonna be relative to the account balance. So I'm gonna choose 100% because that's the way I wanna have it. And then for me, I will copy the stop loss, take profit and pending orders. And then any advanced settings on here as well, you can obviously add these if you wanna add a custom comment to it copy from master, you know, manually signal expert, etc. It's all there for you to actually configure, right? So once that's done, confirm. Perfect, tray copier in place now. 
So as you see, the status is now enabled that to be sorted. So now if we go ahead and actually test that and test how fast the executions are, let's go ahead and do that. Right, so we're now on MT4. Let's start slapping a few lots on. And I'll show you how quick this actually is because it blew my mind. It's 10 times quicker than what I've used before. And it's a very rapid, right? So I'll show you the actual screen itself. And then we're just going to slap a few trays on. Right, you can see how quick that actually executes. So it's absolutely rapid. So that's what you want. Speed of execution is very important when using the tray copier. You don't want something that's going to take time to execute, especially if you're manually executing an order. You want it to be as quick as possible because you want the system to be as flawless as possible. So very, very quick execution. I've never seen anything like it. and It's absolutely rapid and it's just phenomenal. So I've been testing this out for a bit now. And obviously you've seen I had the challenge on this account as well. And it's just been really good to actually use because I've had no problems at, at all. The problem that I had previously is that I would have problems with setting limit orders because if I set a limit order, every so often I would have a trade from the master account to the slave account that actually wouldn't trigger, which obviously affects my trading because if I've got a master account as my personal, because that's the way I like to do it, I used to have my personal account as the master account and then any funded accounts or any funding challenges is the slave accounts for myself, just so I can stay fixated on my own trading and not get caught up into the fact of time limits or trade profit percentages or anything like that. A lot of people tend to do that and it throws them off them trading. I like to focus on my personal account and that's the way I've always done it. But I would have situations where I would put a limit order on and then it just wouldn't get copied onto uh, the actual slave accounts. And you can't be having that if you need to be scaling these accounts. The second thing that happened quite often is that, you know, I would have accounts that are disconnected for no reason. And then quite often it would take quite a while to actually reconnect. So once again, it's just not what you want when you're trying to scale and take trades, especially imagine a trades lining up on Euro dollar. Then I've got situations like that happening. Like that's not what you want. So that was the previous trade copier. Now, since I've switched to traders connect, I've not had any problems like that. They have fantastic support based in the UK. So I just tested this out real quick. Just sent them a quick message just to say, hey, hope you will. I'm having a problem setting up my account. Please, can you help? I literally got a reply within 30 seconds, which was quite phenomenal. And that's what you need. You need that live support really quick, especially if you are having a problem with this sort of thing because it could affect your live trading. So if you need someone there in your corner to answer questions, you've got it. A problem that I've had in the past with a trade copier is that if you have three accounts, you may have to actually upgrade your membership to actually five accounts. But if you only have three accounts, why should you then pay for five? It, like it's never really made sense for me. Whereas with this on Traders Connect, if you have three accounts, you can actually just pay for the three accounts. Or if you have seven accounts, you can just pay for the seven accounts. You don't have to upgrade to then 10 accounts and try and pay for more than what you're actually getting, if that makes sense. So it's a small detail, but it actually makes the biggest difference. So that is a rundown of Traders Connect. By now, you could probably see why I've actually switched over in the first place. And I'm just genuinely excited to see what features they actually come out with in the future and how they just continue to develop and add more features and better themselves as well. So it's going to be good to see. If you want to sign up, there's going to be a link in the description. Click it, sign up to get your account. And once again, you'll understand why I've switched over. So feel free to do the same and uh, you will not regret it. Hopefully you've all enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you in the next one. Speak to you all soon.